הרב ניסים יגן, זכר צדיק לברכה, has some of the most amazing stories. If you listen to his lectures or read his books, his mama story, scary, real story. Says one of his lectures, one of his students has happened to him. This guy, young uh, Israeli guy, moved to Canada. Moved to Canada from Israel. And was doing, making business there, whatever. And uh, complete nothing. Chiloni keeps nothing, does nothing. His whole life is partying and money and girls and all that, but making sins by himself wasn't enough for him. So he became a Khtia Rabin. He came, uh, wanted to add somebody to the sin. So he called his uncle from Israel, come, come. Let's have fun. Come visit me. We'll have fun together. So the uncle comes to Canada and they go have fun. They get drunk, this, that. After the night's over, they drive drunk. And as you would have it, unfortunately, the car goes off the road, smashes into a tree. The uncle dies instantly. But the guy tells the story, he says, you know, he was a gosses, he was like, he was out of it. He says, and I saw, all of a sudden the Malach HaMavet came and took his soul out of his body. And telling him he's coming back for him. Took the soul, went to Shemayim with the soul, now he's coming back to him. And he starts taking his soul and he's screaming, no! And all of a sudden he sees a great light and an angel appears. He says, leave him alone. I'm the angel that was created from the chesed that he made. He gave some tzedakah. And he says, tzedakah tetzil mimavit. And Satan says, no. He's a shah. He's a mechalel shabbat. He goes against the Shem. I'm taking him. And the angel was fighting him. He says, okay, we're going to go to Bedin. They went to Bedin. They took his soul out of his body. And went to Bedin of Shemaim. This is not my story. This is the story of Abi Simi. Again, from the actual person. They go to Bedin of Shemaim. This guy has one good angel on the side. He's got the Satan and all the sins on the other side. One staka that he gave, some chesed that he gave. It's fighting for him. This one meets why he made. He doesn't even know that he made it. And that one meets my wins. It says, listen, you have one, one condition. You bring back your neshama. You say, Shema Israel, as soon as you're back in the neshama. And you go to Jerusalem immediately. You leave everything. You go to Jerusalem immediately. You go to Kolin. Go to Yeshiva. Learn to walk the rest of your life. It's the only condition. We're also going to come back. Comes back. He's in shock. He's in the woods. He sees there's cops everywhere. But he forgets to say Shema Yisrael. The cops see that he's okay. He's got a little blood, but nothing like, nothing is crazy. You know, nothing. He's not di dying or anything. They arrest him. They say, yeah, you probably planned killing your uncle. Because... Maybe one is inheritance. So, when they put him in the hospital, cops were surrounding his room. Because as soon as he's okay, they release him, they put him in jail. So then he remembered, oh, wait, wait, he's thinking about the angels. Say Shema Yisrael, say Shema Yisrael, say Shema Yisrael. So he said Shema Yisrael. All of a sudden, said Shmai said, everybody leaves. The whole room empties out, the nurses leave, the cops leave, everybody leaves. For no reason, he doesn't know what happened. Everybody leaves. He decides to get up, get off the bed. He sees that somebody left his passport accessible, grabs his passport, leaves the country, goes to Israel, goes to Yerushalayim, until this day he's in a college. Now he was lucky. He saw the Malach HaMavit and lived to tell the story. How many of us can say we're going to do that? 
Okay, we're relying on mitzvot. Depends what kind of mitzvot you have, what kind of averot you have. It depends on a lot of things. The same averot that we're making are going to prosecute against us. These demons that you know we think that we're doing, we're doing ourselves a favor by going against the Shem. Go and have fun, go waste tea, go violate Shabbat, go eat non-kosher, go steal, go do all the things against the Shem. We think it's fun. We don't realize those same things that are so-called fun are going to be the prosecutors against us. 